MMA fighter in the world. Nobody touches you pound for pound. And you say, when I get home, my father's gonna smash me? You know why? Because the man was in awe of his father. Values. My brother actually sent me a text message and he said, Sheikh, I have never seen the Ummah united behind one person like Khabib. I said, SubhanAllah. Others were saying, what? Why are people so fixated on this person? It's not like if he fought the Battle of Badr, you know, he's getting a purse of two million dollars. Rightly, in all honesty, this is not like some people would like to make it a conflict between Haq and Batil. You know, you had Haq on this side, you had Batil on this side. This is not the day of Badr. But there are certain things that we can actually learn from this and we can take home. And the most important is values. The values of the believers come from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one very, very important value is controlling one's tongue. And this is why the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, Al-Muslim, man salim al-Muslimuna min lisani wa yadihi. A Muslim is he who other Muslim in some narrations is an nas A true Muslim is he who other people are safeguarded from his lisan wa yad. It's very interesting the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said what? He said lisan, tongue first and then he said hand. Why? Because the damage of the tongue is greater than the damage of the hand. You have a happy family and you spread one false rumor about the husband, about the wife, and all the happiness is thrown out of the window. All the happiness is lost. Allah says, worship me alone, one verse. Then Allah goes, be good to your parents. If they become old, do not even say oof to them. Do not rebuke them. Say to them noble words. Be humble in front of your parents and make dua for them. One verse regarding himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and six commandments regarding your parents. Because this is a maqam that parents have in the deen. So when Connor said regarding his father that your father was a traitor, rightly so, Khabib was upset. And you should be upset. Because Imam Shafi rahimahullah said, only a donkey doesn't get upset. When you see injustices, when you see wrongs, you should feel upset. That's your ghayrah, that's your izzah. Hat off to the man. I'll tell you why. In front of millions of people, in front of millions of millions of people who are watching this, what did he say? You know, you're the baddest UFC fighter pound for pound in the world. The best MMA fighter in the world. Nobody touches you pound for pound. And you say, when I get home, my father's gonna smash me? You know why? Because the man was in awe of his father. Values. We reach the age of 16, our oh, dad, you know, I can handle myself. You know, I'm a man now. Leave me to it. This was a man, why you understand? Why he was a man? Because he understood the Islamic teaching. Respect your parents. Have honor for your parents. And because of his love for his father, and look, look at what his father could say to him. He could say in front of the entire dunya, his father could say to him, that I am gonna treat him worse and my punishment will be worse than what the UFC will give him. You know, our father says a couple of words to us in front of our friends and we feel really embarrassed. We can't show our face again. You know why? Values. It's values. If you have value for your father, if you have value for your parents, then you will honor them. And let me tell you, if you have no value, if you have no values, then you yourself have no value. When Connor offered him the whiskey, what did he say to him? Really interesting. What did he say to him? He said to him, hey, the whiskey, have a drink. He said, I don't drink. He said, why not? What was he saying? He was probing. He knew why he doesn't drink. He was probing. He wanted him to say, oh, my religion doesn't allow it. 
He didn't say that, but he already had his answer ready. What did he call him? He called him a backward so and so. See, what does that mean? It's, now Islam become, comes into the equation. Because as a Muslim, you don't drink, you're backwards. See, when Donald Trump, when Donald Trump don't drink, it's actually a positive in his record. When a Muslim doesn't drink, oh, this is related to his backwardness. He must be backwards. And this slander, this slur, this insult, is not restricted just to Khabib. He slandered and insulted nearly two billion individuals who don't drink. That you're backwards because you don't drink. That your religion is backwards because you don't drink. And see, this is really interesting. Again, it comes to values. Why? Because see, when the guy gave him Habib Salam, Salam alaykum Habib, and then he congratulated Connor on his whiskey, Let's ask ourselves, 99% of us would have remained quiet. We wouldn't have said a word. Why say it? No skin on my back. What did he say? He said, you can't give salam and then give him congratulations on the whiskey. And this is what youngsters go through day in, day out. <laughs> you stand there with your parents and you're 20. You haven't broken your virginity. You don't drink, you must be backwards. Here you got a man who didn't have to say anything. When you're a celebrity, generally this is the case, you don't bother saying anything. But he, he spoke because he believed. And this is principles and this is values. You know, people ask me, he says, Sheikh, were you happy when uh, Khabib won? I said, yes, I was happy. They said, but it's a blood sport, Sheikh. I said, I know it's a blood sport, but did you want me to be happy? I call it one. In the time of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Romans and the Persians had a war. The Romans were Christian and the Persians were Zoroastrians. The Persians won and the Mushrikeen got happy because these were, they were idol worshippers and they worshipped fire. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, Alif Lamin, Wulibat Rum. The Byzantines, the Romans have been defeated. And then Allah says, later on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but a time will come that the, that the Christians, that the Byzantines will defeat the Persians. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when he mentioned this, Yawma idhin yafrahu mu'minun bin nasrillah. On that day, the believers will become happy that the Christians are one. The Christians weren't doing jihad. The Christians didn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These were two disbelieving armies fighting each other. But the Muslims were happy because these were people of the Kitab. They were closer. So I was actually happy because this fight was a bit more than just two people. This was a brother fighting and this was an Islamophobe fighting. Do I say that this guy is a wali of Allah. I'm not telling you now take your thick rulings of Khabib. But what I'm saying is that this issue of values is greater than the octagon. And if you just keep it to the octagon, if you believe that this fight between him and Connor was only limited to the octagon, then you miss the point. We can take many values from this. Especially in the West. <laughs> no, be proud of your deen. You have this person, you know, around about six months ago, he actually shared one of my talks. A small part of my talk which is dubbed in Russian. And wallahi, when I heard this, that somebody sent it to me that he shared one of your talks, I was shocked. And I'll tell you why I was shocked. Because I can guarantee you, that 80% of Muslims in this country or in the West would never share that. It was the discussion between Abdullah ibn Zubair and his mother. At that time, he had 3 million followers, vast majority, most likely non-Muslims, and he shared it. You know why he shared it? Because he was proud to be a believer. That talk is one of the most, most emotional talks there is. His mother says to him, he said, oh mother, I'm scared. 
when I die, she said, fight, fight like a man. And he said, what, when I die, they might be decapitated. You know what, you know what she said to him? She said, oh, my son, a slaughtered sheep doesn't feel the pain when it's skinned. And when he meets her, he's got his armor on. And she says, why are you wearing the armor for those who desire what you desire? Don't wear this. Take it off. And he said, oh, mother, I only did it to console you. He shared this video. I ask you, how many Muslims here would actually share that video? How many Muslims in the West would share that video? Now why? And, and, and this is where we need to you know, regain. We need to regain our confidence as believers. Our values are our values. Look at the man's loyalty. For his brother is ready for his brother. He doesn't need to do it for his brother. And not his brother, blood brother, his brother in the deen. He's ready to give, throw him his title. He's ready to give his purse, two million pound purse. Basically on...